All right, I'm out here at the river and uh, I'm doing kind of a challenge today. What I got today, got myself another anchor box. This one is soft plastic swim baits. Uh, I got five different colors. There's 50 of them for about nine bucks, uh, which is a really good deal. Really excited about these because these are really small. They're like two inches long. And uh, I'm always telling people around here, smaller baits tend to do better. So uh, yeah. Uh, the challenge today is to catch one fish on each color, hopefully some more, but uh, we'll see if I can get something. All right, I've got these uh, perfectly paired up with the uh, one thirty-second ounce uh, jig heads. Uh, starting off with the green one, the darker color. It's close to the Senko colors I use, usually use out here, but there's also chartreuse, a lighter green, kind of a goldish brown color, gold flakes, and then a clear white with silver flakes. Pretty sure they'll all work here. They're all small enough that uh, multi, multiple species of fish will try to eat them. Got one. On the first color, it's a little bitty bass, but it's a bass. On the green, on the dark green. Oh. He was not coming off either. There we go. It's a bass, a little Guadalupe bass. And with that, I'm gonna switch up to the next color. I'm gonna go with the lighter green. All right, I'm gonna put that back in the box, save that for another time. There should be 10 of each color, so I got 50 of them, which is pretty cool. I'm actually, instead of going with the lighter green, I'm gonna go with the next one in line, which is this gold clear. Oh, this is clear with gold flake. The other one's clear with silver flake. So. This one's actually a little more visible in the water. That clear was a little better camouflage. Harder to see. This one stands out a little bit better. But it's not too drastically different. It's kind of a natural color, so it should still work. These things have really good movement, especially considering their size. You got to make sure you use a tiny hook on, on this size, on the two inch ones. They do have bigger ones available, but I'm always telling people to downsize in this area. There we go, get a, another one. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's another smaller one. All right, that didn't take very long. This one's not a Guadalupe bass. This is a spotted bass. So two species of bass, two different colors, swim bait. Both of them pretty small so far, but that's one of the reasons you have to downsize around this area because the bass are small here. All right, put that gold flake back in there. Time for the silver flake. All right, I've already got two fish and I'm on the third color now. And uh, But I'm gonna start gradually moving upstream here. See if there's any in this little area here. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. That's not a bad one. Well, I mean, it's a lot bigger than the other ones I've caught so far today. It's another little quad. Well, as far as quads go, it's actually a nice one. Solid. Solid fish. It's very muscular. Kind of chunky, but it's very small. Guadalupe bass don't get very big, but there's fish number three. Alright, there's the silver flake. Next one we've got a lighter green color with black and blue flakes. And uh, I was really just about to give up on this spot and move down to the next one. And got the biggest fish of the day so far. Still not very big, but you know, Guadalupe bass don't really get very large. And these swim baits, they're, uh, they're kind of flat. They're oval shaped. And uh, the flat side is top or the bottom, so that's how you can tell whether or not you're putting it on right. You want to get it lined up with the tail sticking up at the, at the right angle, so that's one way to tell. Oh, there we go. Oh, he came off. Damn. He went after that. Somehow he slipped off. I don't know what happened there. Keep trying, though. I could count that as the fourth fish because it did go after this fourth color, but I don't know. I want to land all four of them, all five of them. This one got the quickest reaction out of all the other ones. Got a bite and fewer casts than any of the other colors did. There's a bass hanging out right there. Oh, I had another bite. Oh, he went after that one and ate it too. Why is it, why am I, why am I getting a hook set? What's wrong with my hook? Don't see anything wrong with it. But there's one, he's just hanging out right there. Two of them hanging out right there, but there's one that's a little bit bigger. Oh, there's an even bigger one. Okay, he's got it. Got him that time. There we go. This one went after it at least three times there. Finally ate it. Got me a hook set. Not very big, but Oh, he slipped off. And he got away. What is wrong with my hook? I don't see anything wrong with my hook, but they're slipping off now. But there we go. That's number four. Because technically I did land him, even though I dropped him. All right, that one definitely got the most activity out of all, all of them so far. Now I'm onto the chartreuse. And uh, this one might even work even better. But we'll see. That last fish because he kept slipping off like he would take it and I would try to set the hook and pull it out of his mouth or he'd slip off so that last time when he when I finally got him I let him play with it for a little while and then pulled it set the hook okay I'm just a little bit farther down from where I was and I could see the bass hanging out right there he's chasing it oh there we go this might be the best one of the day. There's a bunch of them right there. No, nope, not quite the biggest one of the day, but he he definitely went after it. He choked it. It's way down in there. Just missed his gill plate. Don't do that right now. Bad time to start shaking around. He was actually not hooked. It was just hooked over one of his <laughs> one of his gills. But there we go. There you go, that was a challenge complete. Well, there you have it. These definitely work out here. I caught one half decent quad. Yeah, thanks for watching. Check these out on Amazon. Runkle Anchor Box.